Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are working on Monday, April 3rd through Sunday, April 9th. As always, let's take a look back at last week. I did absolutely nothing to my planner since the last plan with me. Yeah, there's a few reasons why. I like legit didn't do anything this weekend. Um, I had my thyroid check on Friday, which um, if you wanna check that bad boy out, it looks a lot better on camera than it does in person, but um, that was fun. Um, there's another one in my other arm, but for whatever reason, the lab tech uh, got that one real good because there's nothing there, which is really nice. Um, but anyway, had that checked on Friday, I'll, I already actually have my results and I'll have my medications figured out on Monday, which is when you're seeing this. Um, but yeah, um, so anyway, the reason that I didn't write anything else down is because I literally didn't do anything. Um, I have been super, super tired um, for the last probably about two months. Um, I have a history of thyroid disease and I have to get it checked once in a while, especially if I'm feeling really sluggish and whatever. So uh, that's what's going on with me. But um, I haven't been as active as I normally have on like Instagram and Facebook and I've just been tired. It's just something that happens when you have thyroid disease and it's just kind of a pain. But um, hopefully once I talk to my doctor on Monday, I will get things regulated hopefully and um you know just go from there so so this week i am not really into planning um i know that's kind of weird but i'm i'm not really into this today you guys but <clears throat> i am trying <laughs> so i just kind of grabbed whatever this was like the first washi sample i saw so i just figured what the heck let's just go with it um, there's no rhyme or reason why I picked this sample today, but um, like I said, I'm just, I'm really not into planning right now, but I want to get this done. And a lot of you were asking on Friday where my budget was and it's still not done. Um, the reason why is because, like I said, I have been so, so tired that I haven't even been able to sit down to do it. Um, it's gonna get done this week, but I did, I had another video already filmed, or actually I didn't even have it already filmed, it was just a lot easier for me to film that Target haul that went up on Friday, so that's what I did. It will happen on Friday, so I do apologize for all of you that were hoping to see that this past Friday, but um, again, I just haven't been feeling the greatest, and I just am so tired. And, and the frustrating thing, about this whole thyroid problem is that you're tired for like absolutely no reason. So like, so like today is Sunday and I got up about, I don't know, six o'clock, took the dog out to go to the bathroom and laid back down, which is like a normal thing. And then I got up at like nine. Okay. So that's like a long time. And oh, by the way, I went to bed at like I don't know, like 10.30, something like that, which is actually really late for me. So then after I like, you know, kind of got up for the day, um, did some stuff, hung out, and took the dog on a walk, and then I had some lunch, and I was like, I am like falling asleep tired. So around, I tried to stay awake, but about 1.30, I finally laid down, and then it's about five o'clock now, and I just woke up so I could do this. Um, I don't, I have just, Ugh. I just don't feel the best, so I don't know. I mean, I feel fine, I'm just like really tired and it's really irritating. So, um, I have like a bunch of my Christiane Design stuff just like sitting around because this is what I did last week, so I don't know, I'm just, I'm not into it, you guys. Um, but I am gonna try to pull some like pinks and blues and reds, I guess. I don't know, why not? But this color pink doesn't really go with anything. It's like a really funny pink. And then I have all my like Coffee Break Planner stickers too over here. Let me pull these out. Oh, I need to order more trash cans. <laughs> all right, I'll put this right here. Yeah, this pink is not like the right color pink. It's like a rosy pink where like everything else is gonna be like, do you see the difference? It's like more of a true pink. I don't know. 
So what do I need to do today? I really don't have like anything super exciting going on, which is actually kind of a good thing um, at all this week. So yay, <laughs> yay for me. Now here's some red stickers. I might use those. At some point I need to go grocery shopping as well as I need to go to like Bed Bath & Beyond because I have um, actually, I'll pull that out because I'll mark that down. I'm almost out of trash bags and I have this like really fancy simple human trash bag situation, I guess. I don't know. So yeah, but I need to get some more trash bags. So, but they only have them at um, Bed Bath & Beyond. I th I'm sure I could order them from Amazon, but I have those, you know, like 20% off coupon thingamajigs that just kind of like pile up. Um, so, hmm, whatever. So maybe I'll go to Bed Bath & Beyond on like, I don't know, like Tuesday maybe? I don't know where else I need to go, but I'm sure I'll end up going somewhere else. All right, so I'll probably go there Tuesday, right after work. Tomorrow sometime, my doctor's office should be calling me about my medication. So then hopefully I can pick that up either Monday night or Tuesday to get that party started so I can get more normal. <laughs> if me being normal is actually a thing. It probably isn't, but you know, whatever. Um, let's see here. And then I'll just put in some laundry since I have red ones from Coffee Bigger Planner. I'm kind of excited about that. So yeah, and then, oh, I need my I need my NASCAR stickers. I don't think I went all the way through this thing. Do, 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 do. Where are my NASCAR stickers? Don't know where they are. Okay, I have like no idea where my NASCAR stickers are. This is driving me crazy. I usually have them like all grouped together, um, but for some reason I don't. It's driving me a little bit crazy. Hmm. <laughs> well, dang it. I guess I'll have to put that in when I actually find the stickers. Oh, so I have something I've been meaning to ask you guys. So wondering if you guys would ever be interested in me doing a live stream on YouTube. Um, I know that maybe sounds kind of weird, but I've been watching a lot of them recently and I'm like, hmm, I wonder if people would be into this. So. I'm asking you guys if you'd be interested in me ever doing a live stream. The live stream can just be like a Q&A. I don't know what it would be about. I mean, it could be about whatever you guys want it to be about because essentially we're just interacting in the comments like live. But I was thinking if you guys were into it, we could do a live stream at some point. So the live stream would have to happen on either a Saturday or a Sunday just because then I have actual like daylight um, during the week it really doesn't work probably and it probably wouldn't work for your guys' schedules either because to like interact live you have to be on live so I'm usually available anytime on Saturdays or Sundays so if you guys are available on Saturdays or Sundays and would be interested in a live stream I would like to know in the comments below like in the comments below um, when would be the most convenient time for you and please put it in central standard time because I don't know like say if you're on the east coast and you're available at a certain time convert it into central standard time and let me know because I'm just not sure what would you know like work out the best for everybody but if you're interested let me know if you're not that's okay too um, but yeah, I don't know. I just thought it might be a fun little way to interact with each other and I could like tweet about it and post it on Instagram beforehand as well um, and kind of keep that going. Um, but I would probably just do like a little live Q&A maybe. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of kind of whatever you guys are into at the time as well. And if you guys aren't into it, I'm like totally okay with that as well. But I just thought it'd be kind of like a fun little bonus thing to do, maybe like once a month if you guys seem really into it. Um, but like I said, I work like a normal, like Monday through Friday kind of a deal. So um, I just like wouldn't, you know, normally be available. So, but like I said, I'm into, you know, all things live streams recently. So I'm like, Whatever. Um, okay, so apparently Prison Break is like coming back to TV, which I'm like kind of pumped about. That is, I believe, on Tuesday. I'm really not sure what time. All right, and what else do I need? Oh my goodness. 
And we'll put in a little weekend banner, cause why not? I actually like to put it in like on Friday. So I don't cover up the times for Saturday. I can cover up the times a little bit, but I like to just kind of see, see what's going on. Cause honestly, most of my um, stickers don't like go the full length of this anyways. So whatever. And um, this week I might actually go and see a couple of houses. Um, I know a lot of people have been asking about the house search, like what's going on with it and you know, all of that junk. Um, honestly, it's kind of at a standstill. Um, I am waiting to hear back from the builder I've been trying to work with and there's just no lots available. However, I did find two like really old homes, like really old you guys. And I'm kind of into it. So, and it's in the area I was looking at. The one is kind of way more expensive than I'm looking at, but it just hit the market. So who knows what's gonna happen with it. And the other one is like totally within my price range. It needs a little bit of updating, but it's about 30,000 less than like what I was originally thinking anyway. So I could sink some of that extra money into the house if need be. But um, I really need to go see those. I texted my realtor this weekend and I haven't heard back yet. So hopefully on Monday he'll get back to me and we can schedule a time to go out and look at these properties to see if they could work. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about looking at them because um, nothing has really kind of sprung on the market in my area, unfortunately, but um, these two just happened over the last week and I'm like, I wanna see those. I even actually drove by one of them. I need to drive by the other one because I think that's in like a really commercial area, so I'm not sure. And of course, that's the like less expensive one. Um, but the one that's more expensive is gorgeous. It's in a beautiful neighborhood and it's in like a more historical area. And the property, there's a ton of room to build like an external like carriage garage on another side. There's already an, a detached garage because it was built like almost a hundred years ago. It was built in like 1935 or something. So they didn't come with garages then obviously. So there is a garage on one side of the property. It's actually like a corner lot. And so there is a two car garage on one side, but there's more than enough room to build almost like a three car garage on the other side of the property because the house is like in the corner. And it's a huge, huge area. And um, it's really, really pretty. So it's just like right in the downtown and I don't know, I think it's gorgeous. But anyway, um, I wanna see the inside. I've seen the pictures on, you know, the like listing app or whatever. And I think that it would be okay. But um, I wanna just see the layout. Like the layout's like the biggest thing for me because if it doesn't flow nicely, like it's really hard to change that without spending, you know, like $50,000. <laughs> so I don't know. But I'm excited. Hopefully um, I can take you guys along on that journey if I end up going to see them. Um, I film it regardless. Thankfully, all of the properties that I've seen so far, nobody lives there. So I can actually like post it online. But um, I don't know if anybody lives in these properties. So uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But I'm excited. I, like I said, I really love that that old, that old, old house. Um, but I don't know. I gotta drive by the other one, like I said, because I think it's like right in the middle of an industrial area, unfortunately, which is probably why it's way less expensive, but we'll see about that. Cause you know, you can do all you want to to the inside, but you can't change the location of it. Hopefully we can get that done this week and just, you know, see if I like it. And if I don't, I don't, and you know, that's okay too. Just this house buying journey is taking a lot longer than I had expected. And then for my YouTube stuff. Um, okay, so for Monday definitely is gonna be the plan with me and Friday is definitely going to be my April budget. Um, my Wednesday video right now is slated for March favorites. It's probably going to be March favorites, but I don't want to put that in just yet because I'm just not 100% sure what that's going to be um, because obviously I haven't filmed it yet. 
but we'll see. I just don't want to like disappoint you guys like last week where I put in um, an actual video and then it's like, oh wait, never mind. Huh? Um, so yeah. But this is going to be it for the week so far. Um, I do need to run and go like grocery shopping at some point and you know, do some other things as well. But um, I'll put those in as the week progresses. And if you guys are interested, um, these two pens, um, I get questions about these all the time. They are always linked below in most of my videos where I actually do like an overhead shot. And this one is my Pilot Ultra Fine Point Permanent Marker. And these work really well on the Chrissy Ann Design stickers I was using. They also work great on like matte stickers as well, which these ones are from Coffee Break Planner. And then um, this I love using just on the straight paper. And then this is the paper made ink joy gel this is the 0.7 i also use the 0.5 and i really like both of them um, but the nice thing is is they don't like it's really difficult for them to smear i used to be a fan of the pilot g2s but they smear so much and i just wasn't into it so um, like I said, they're linked below if you're interested. They also come in blue if you're team blue, so um, I just like the way black looks, so I just go with it. I also have a link to Erin Condren down below. That is where I got my planner. I use the Erin Condren Life Planner in the neutral, which is uh, like how I have the black headings. The only part of this that is a little bit colorful is they have like a little watercolor flag and then these like little flags on the side that have a little bit of car color. Ugh. I can't talk today. And um, I got the silver coil, as you can see. If you want a different colored coil, there is an upgraded charge for that. I think it's like five or 10 bucks, something like that. And there is a clickable, clickable link down below if you're interested. Um, if you'd like to purchase a planner or anything else from Erin Condren, this little guy is also from Erin Condren. I think it's a, just a bookmark. Um, it actually clips into here, but I use it for cutting washi because I feel like it actually helps a lot more and I really like it um, and if you click that clickable link down below for Erin Condren if it's your first time ordering you will get a $10 off coupon code emailed to you you're actually gonna go to get a whole slew of emails right away I think it's about two or three emails right away and one of them will be a unique coupon code just for you for $10 off your first purchase it can be on anything it doesn't have to be on a life planner I get that question all the time and it doesn't have to be on a life planner at all so it can be just on these if you really want them, you know, if this is all you want to order, that's fine too. Um, and then what happens if you use your $10 off coupon code, I also in turn get a $10 off coupon code for myself when your order ships. So that is how I am able to bring you, um, like last week I did an Erin Condren haul and that's um, part of the reason why I can share some of the new fun things with you. And I also actually just placed another order this past week and I will be doing a haul once all those goodies show up because there are some brand new things that Erin Condren just released and I I want to show and share with you guys in person and give my opinion on what they look like and how they feel and all of that too. Um, so then you guys don't waste your money if they weren't worth it or maybe they're really cool and I'm like, yeah, these things are awesome. I would like recommend that you get seven of them. You know what I mean? So anyway, I am rambling on way too much and I got a jet because my mom texted me a little while ago and told me to call her, so I need to do that. But I'm gonna wrap it up here. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little part of your day. And thank you so much for understanding that the Friday video didn't work out last week, but it will be up this week for you guys. So I appreciate your patience while I'm super, super tired, but I am gonna jet here and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.